Here with ESPN insider Adam Schefter. Adam, you had John Elway on your podcast this week. Uh, good catching up with him. It's always nice to see John, and I've known him for an awful long time, <laughs> since 1990. So that's 28 years, and it's really interesting to watch somebody grow from being a young Pro Bowl quarterback into a seasoned NFL executive and to chart their path. And John has always been huge in Denver, so it's always a great pleasure to catch up with him. Uh, his big free agent signing, of course, Case Keenum this offseason. What do you think about the signing? Natural. I think when you looked at it, the Broncos got in on him early. It just made sense. Out of the gate, cost-friendly deal, effective quarterback. The people in the Broncos organization know him. They believe they know what they're going to get. And... I think it was a smart move. Now they've got built-in flexibility for the draft because if the right quarterback is there, they could do that. If not, they could go another direction. And if there's not a quarterback there, that just means that there's a blue-chip player that was pushed down to them at five. Or maybe they'll be open to trading back and getting more picks and getting another player. So to me, the addition of Case Keenum gives them that added flexibility that they're not locked into having to do anything in the draft. A feeling around the league is that he can build upon last year. I mean, that was his breakout performance. Well, the one thing about Case Keenum is he's gotten better and better every year. And he's a guy that really has always been counted out. I think that people didn't expect him to excel in college, and he did. And they didn't expect him to catch out in the NFL, and he did. And they didn't expect him to start in the NFL, and he did. And they didn't expect him to stand out in the NFL, and he has. So he has exceeded expectations at every step of his career. And I think the Broncos are banking on the fact that he'll be able to do that again. The Broncos also getting rid of some key contributors on defense, a keep to lead. What kind of pressure do you think that puts on the rest of the D there? Listen, I think really when you look at some of the moves they made on defense, the offense has got to be better because I don't think the defense is going to be quite as good as it has been, but the offense has a chance to be much better. So if the offense is better and the defense isn't quite as good, you know, they're hoping that it's enough to elevate this team's performance and make it so that it's not another 5-11 and 11 type season. Uh, we're here at the league meetings. Of course, we're missing Broncos owner Pat Bowlen. Yeah. You think this is finally the chance he gets to push for the Hall of Fame here? I hope so. It's long overdue. He has meant so much to this league. And there have been people that have gone into the Hall who, if they're deserving, I can tell you Pat Bowlen is absolutely deserving. And you'd like to see it done sooner rather than later. His contributions to the league have been immeasurable. He has been a huge part of this league's success success and growth and to me if there's a single contributor that belongs in Canton Ohio in the Pro Football Hall of Fame it would be Pat Bowen and so hopefully this is his time. I'll let you out of here on this uh, Go Blue this weekend or what? Listen they're in the final four we'll hope it works out for them we'll keep our fingers crossed playing a feisty little team from Chicago so what they got they got they got all kinds of People on their side and fate and religion and all those things. So we'll see how it works. We'll out see what time. happens. All right, Adam. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.